Welcome to GardenWise Adventures. My name is Malie, and today we're going to try harvesting our medlars again and seeing if we can get them to ripen. Now, I'm going to link up at the top here another video that I did last year that was a complete and utter failure. Um, it was so windy you couldn't hear what I was saying. I was trying to harvest before a storm hit, and I consequently harvested the medlars too early and they didn't ripen. But this year is perfect. It's the beginning of November. They generally ripen in November. We don't have bad weather until next week, so I can harvest half, see if they start to ripen. And if not, then harvest the rest next week and see if they will ripen. So let's get harvesting and see how it goes. Now this is what a medlar looks like. It's kind of ugly. They are from England. I don't know that much about medlars other than I've grown them for several years. I've had a couple of harvests that have ripened, but I never really liked the texture. It's kind of the texture of sandy mud when they're ripened. You have to actually blet the fruit. That means you pick it, let it sit in a dark, cool place for about two weeks, because right now it's quite hard. Once it softens, the flavor is actually good. It tastes a little bit like cinnamon apples. So let's harvest it and see if we can get it to ripen. So here we are. It looks like we got about half of the tree harvested. I'm going to take this in my house and put it under my stairs. I have a little room there that stays cool and dark, and it's a place where I ripen a lot of stuff. Stuff tends to last there pretty long too. So let's see how this works, and I'll see you in a couple of weeks. Well, we did have success this year in getting our medlars bledded. So here's my medlar. Don't know how well you can see that. I'll take a picture of it a little bit later. But this is what it looks like when it's fully bledded. It's kind of wrinkly, it's very soft. So this is what I learned on a YouTube video. I'll probably have to try and link that one. To get to the inside meat of the medlar, you can actually peel the outside skin off. And it peels off really, really easily. So you can see how kind of gross it looks. <laughs> there it is. Sorry about the barking dog. So there it's all the way peeled on the outside. Then you just peel off the center area. And then this, the little st uh, where it connected to the tree, you just pull that off. So this is what it looks like. It's not very appetizing looking. I don't like them. I really don't like the taste. I really don't like the texture. The taste is okay, but the texture is just, it's like sandy mud. So what I'm gonna do is in my next video, I'm going to try a recipe um, that, for medlar cheese. Now, um, one other thing I wanted to show you is how big the seeds are. This is a seed. They're very large, and then you don't have much meat left. So with the medlar cheese, um, hopefully we'll be able to get something that's palatable. Then I'll also make medlar jelly. If it's not palatable, and if I don't like it, then I guess we just have a beautiful ornamental tree that I'm not gonna be doing anything with. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, medlars are very interesting. We'll see how the medlar cheese turns out and see if we like it. And if we do, then we'll have a holiday winter. Well, I definitely encourage you to go out and try fruit that you have not tried. Try growing it. Maybe try tasting it before you try growing it. See if you like it. But anyway, it's really fun and rewarding. 
So I hope you've enjoyed this video and go out and have a wonderful garden adventure and we'll see you on our next video.